Okay, so I had a question about how to create a five-pass bean stitch, which is kind of like a triple stitch that goes, you know, back and forward, back, forward, only instead of doing it three times, it does it five times. And we're going to do that by creating a custom motif. So I have just a little 50 by 50 hoop right now, just a small hoop for a second, and I set the grid on my view tab. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I set the grid here to five millimeters, so I have five millimeters between each line. And I'm going to use snap to grid because really what I'm going to do is just draw a line that goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And using snap to grid, make sure that it's going to stay perfectly straight. And then I'm going to come over here to the create area and I'm going to click polygon draw, the second tool that's going to let me draw a line. And I'm just going to set my first point here and then come over here to the right. So there's one pass, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to right click one time to finish that line. So now I have this blue line. It looks like it's just one line, but it's actually going forward, back, forward, back, forward. I'm going to right click a second time to deselect it. And then I'm just going to come up here to my motifs and choose export to my motifs. So now what I've basically done is just drawn a straight line that goes forward, back, forward, back, forward and then exported that as a stitch at five millimeters. So if I were to repeat that then as a stitch, it would have one here and then one here and then one here. So now I've basically just got a line that's five millimeters. I'm gonna hit select all and click the delete key because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to come over to Precise Create, and I've got it here set to do a motif line now, and I'm going to choose Create Area or Line, and I'm just going to set four points for now, just so we have a line, and right-click, and it's got a motif. Don't really worry too much about that. I'm going to come in here by right-clicking, choose Properties. I'm going to set my group to My Motifs, and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, and this number nine is actually that stitch that I just created. When I select it, you notice the width here is five millimeters. I'm going to actually set this width to whatever I want the stitch length to be for this five-pass bean stitch. For example, I might set it to 3.5, and then click the, oh, actually, before I click OK, I'm going to change one other thing. If you notice right here, Right now the stitch is set to a triple stitch, so if I do this right now, even it's got five passes, it would actually create it at 15 passes. So we're going to set this to a running stitch so that it doesn't automatically triple it. And I'm also going to take the, triple, the stitch length up to the same thing here so that it doesn't break it up. If I had this at 2 and this was set at 3.5, what it would do is after 2 millimeters it would add a stitch point in that stitch. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to take this up to like 6 to just make sure that it's going to do the entire 3.5 back and forth and back and forth. Then click the OK button and then I've got now this stitch starting here running to here but it's actually doing forward, back, forward, back, forward, and doing that with a five pass stitch. And that's how you can create a custom motif line that's going to let you change how many repeats you have. So you can do that for five, for seven, for nine. Just keep in mind, the more you do, the more thread that you're going to have built up. So you don't want to do a short stitch length with that because it's going to get really bunched up. So usually I like to play starting at about a three, three and a half, and then stitch it out and see how that looks.